Hey guys, it's Anne and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing my second Bibbidi Bobbidi box or Bibbidi Bobbidi boxes, which is a Disney themed subscription box. Now I did already get one of these boxes. I had it over on my other channel. So I will link that video below if you wanna go check it out. Quick recap, I'm moving all my content back over to this channel. Um, so, um, what was once a reselling channel with a little bit of lifestyle content, I'm now rebranding. It is a lifestyle channel with a little bit of reselling content. Most of you know I sell on eBay and I'm down to one video a week about eBay on this channel. So I have room for all the other stuff, the fun stuff that I've been posting on my other channel. So subscription boxes, shopping hauls, reviews, recipes, all the fun stuff. So if you're not already subscribed, um, and you like that kind of content content, make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. So Bibbidi Bobbidi Boxes, it's a Disney subscription box, not affiliated with Disney. I don't think there are any Disney subscription boxes that are actually affiliated with Disney right now. There might be one like for kids, but all of these boxes, um, all the companies that have subscription boxes are not affiliated with Disney. And let's just get straight to the truth about Disney subscription boxes. Most of these items are found at the Disney character warehouse shops. So at Disney World, there are two outlet malls outside of Disney World. You know, typical outlet malls, just like you probably know of. At the two that are closest to Disney World, there are Disney character warehouses. And that um, those stores are Disney park outlet stores, overstocks, stuff they didn't sell enough of. They get sent off the parks because you very rarely see anything on sale, much less on clearance on Disney property. So the overstock merchandise goes to these character warehouse stores. And that is where you can get really great deals on park merchandise um, if you're able to get off property. I've never been to one because I don't have a car when I'm at Disney. But the next time I go, I'm like, I'm going to take a cab because I know the one on, is it Vineyard? If you're familiar with Disney World, I know the one on Vineyard. The outlet mall there is supposed to be the best. Tim Tracker, they do videos from that outlet store all the time. So I know that these boxes mainly shop at the outlet stores and they get Disney products other places. I'm sure it's not that hard to find Disney stuff cheap. So I get it that to make a business, obviously they have to have a markup. They're gonna have to find items that are cheap and mark them up so that they can make a profit. I get it. With the Bibbidi Bobbidi boxes, they have several subscription levels. I think starting at $39.99, all the way up to this level, which is $119 plus shipping. It's a lot. This box says that you're gonna get three to five items, Disney Park exclusives, and one luxury item. Now, with Bibbidi Bobbidi boxes, they have a box when you have your account where you're supposed to tell them what you like, what you don't like, um, your preferences. And when I did the last review, a lot of people were like, because I wasn't happy with my box, if you go and watch that video, people were like, oh, you need to be really specific about what you want. But if I would, if I knew like a specific item, I would just get it myself. I'd go on eBay or something and find it. The point of a mystery box is that it's a mystery, but they do give you the opportunity to tell them what you like. And I put that my favorite movies are Wally -E and um, Up, <laughs> that I have dogs, so I like the Disney pet stuff. I guess if I had to pick a Disney character, it'd be Pluto. I love Epcot, specifically World Showcase, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom. I don't really go to studios. I collect coffee mugs. So I felt like I gave them a good range of stuff that I would like. But when they're shopping at the outlets, if it comes down to they don't have any of that stuff, that's how it goes. So, yeah, um, 119 bucks plus shipping. I'm a little afraid it's pretty lightweight, but that doesn't mean that there could be bad things in it. So, and it wasn't that the stuff was awful, but for $119, my first box, I was like, oh. But, anywho, let's open this up and we shall see what this is. Now I have canceled it. I'm not going to get another one because of the price. And it's just like, I just wanted to review it. And I actually did go on and try to cancel. I did cancel, but they'd already processed this month's box. So we'll just review another one. So here is what it looks like when you open it. And it says, um, they are having their one year anniversary. So there's that. 
And then they do put in a packing slip that tells you the value of the items. I'm not gonna look at that so we can see. And here's what it looks like. So, I'm, I'm scared. Oh, okay. First thing I'm opening is a Gym Shore. Okay, I'm a little happier now. We have a Gym Shore and it's a Pluto item and it's a Best Pal, so it's Mickey and Pluto. Now we are dog people here. Um, I have one dog now, Charlie. He's two and a half year old pug. Had two other pugs as well, they've, they've passed on. So we love dog things. So let's see what this Gym Shore, and Gym Shore is a very, um, you know, pricey item. Let me see what they, so the retail on this is 50. Now I'm assuming these were at the outlet, so. That's, and again, I get it, it's a business. They, they, Disney has also banned personal shopping companies from the parks. There were companies that were doing, um, like if you wanted something that was just in the parks, they would go in and buy it for you and charge you, you know, a small fee. Disney banned those people, like a thousand some people from Disneyland got their annual passes revoked and they're banned from the parks because they were doing that. So obviously, Disney doesn't want you in the parks. They have to shop somewhere. But this is nice. I'm happy with this. I'm very happy with this. Very nice. Jim Shore, Mickey and Pluto. This is perfect because, you know, obviously Pluto's not a pug, but we're dog people. And Jim Shore, beautiful products. So I'm very happy with this. Love that. That will be going on somewhere behind here on my shelves with all my Disney World souvenirs. Okay, so, so far so good. Let's dig in next. Okay, we have another Pluto item, which is okay. This is the Tiny Big Feet. This is their new little characters, I think, which are super cute. And you know what I love on this is the little tongue because my pugs, especially Max and Lucy, they always had their little tongue out. And that definitely reminds me of this. Now this does say 595 value. I'm sure you can get these. I don't know if they have these at Target, Walmart, wherever, probably other stores, but I do think this is super cute and it definitely fits in with what I had asked for. So again, happy camper on this. There's still more in here. We have a pair of, okay, this is another cute one. And these are Disney socks and they are of all of the dogs. This again, I am a fan of. I specifically told them I like the Disney pet items. So they definitely listened here. Um, these say, these are from Disney World and they are 590, no, I'm sorry, 1499 on these. So again, thumbs up. I said I like the Disney pet stuff for the dogs and that's exactly what they sent. So we are three for three. This, mo this box, much better than the last one. Next, we have a Disney Parks pin. And again, I like this one. This is, it's an authentic Disney Parks pin. Um, or is it Disney Parks? Yeah, Disney Parks. It's $14.99 and it is all of the parks with Minnie and Mickey spinning. Now, I don't collect the pins. It's not because I don't like them, but I just never really got into them. I do collect magnets, but I do like this one. It's got the spinning feature and it has all four of the park icons, the old icons, because the hat is no longer the Disney Studios um, icon. But again, I love the, I go to, I go to Disney World, not because I like Disney, but I like the parks. I like the resorts. I like Walt Disney World as a whole, not the characters, but I love the parks. And this is a parks all the way item. So once again, we're good with that. Now we have two more items here. We've got two more items. Okay. There is this little envelope. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this is some of their own. What is this? Is this their own stuff? Their own little branded button. And then some cute little fluff stickers, including up. So that, love that. We have one of Castle, and then we have one of the horses that I think this could either be 
obviously the carousel at Magic Kingdom, or maybe even the boardwalk. There's a carousel model in the boardwalk. So I love stickers. Thumbs up again. Okay, we have one more item. So far, so good. Okay, okay. Now I'm back on the Bibbidi Bobbidi Box train. It is an Alex and Annie, and it is Lady and the Tramp, which again, we are on the pet themed item. And I do like this. This is a retail $44.95. So yay, thumbs up. Really, I've never had an Aunt Alex and Annie bracelet. It's my first one. I love Lady. I love the Lady and the Tramp characters, I will say. The movie, once again, with these Disney traumatic movies, they get a new baby and they don't love their, do their dog anymore and they yell at her and I don't like that. So the movie itself, once again, traumatized me as a child. But I do like Lady and the Tramp characters for sure. And that's just so cute and a really nice high quality item. Okay, this box, thumbs up for me. They listened to what I asked for. Have the Alex and Annie bracelet of Lady and the Tramp. It's a Disney Parks exclusive, $44.95 retail value. We have the Disney Dogs socks. This is a retail of, what was this again? $14.99. We have the cute little Pluto. And this is a retail of $5.95. The Disney Parks pin with all of the parks and the spinning Minnie and Mickey. This is a $14.99 value. Their own little um, items. We've got the button and a few of the little stickers. And then, of course, we have the Jim Shore figurine of Mickey and Pluto, and this is a $50 value. So the $50, $44.95, and the, oh, it's, oh, right, I was going to try to add. <laughs> Let's not do that. The total value is $130.88. Um, it was $119 with shipping, so on a retail thing, pretty much what I paid for is what I got. Now, of course, they didn't pay. I know they got these at the outlet. I know people are like, you need to tell people they get them at the outlet. I'm sure they did, and that's fine. It's a business. Um, so, yeah, but I'm really happy. They listened this time exactly what I wanted, which was the dog stuff. Um, and, yeah, I'm happy with this box. So I will link Bibbidi Bobbidi Box below. Now I'm like, oh, I really like this box. Um, again, they do have other subscription levels. And I guess if you do sign up for them and in when you sign up and you go to tell them what you want, like people said, you need to be very, 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 very specific. And I guess you just write a novel if you want to and tell them if you know of things that you exactly want, put it in there. I know people have done that and they get exactly what they asked for. So I don't know. I know it's whatever kind of comes up that they're able to get their hands on. So anyway, um, let me know what you think. Did you like this box? Do you get Bibbidi Bobbidi Box? I will, of course, link them in the description box below if you want to go check them out. And I'm happy with this box. I'm not going to subscribe anymore because I've got two other Disney boxes coming to review. And while they do have other item, other um, boxes, I just I got a lot of boxes coming, and I don't have it in the budget to do this one. But I did like it. Thumbs up for this one. So with that, um, I'm going to get ready to film another video. <laughs> video, 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 unbox, unbox, unbox. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I get to now decorate my new little items. Um, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.